Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We're testing out super easy a Goku Black. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, Dragon Ball Super Movie Memorial and fight the Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo fight. Now, I was tempted. I did really want to bust out Fusion Zamasu and go with Worldwide Chaos for this run. Uh, remember that Goku Black needs to be on a full Super Bosses team unless you're going up against a... Goku family enemy, which we are, but one of the nastiest, I, I love this fight for a showcase because it, it, it can go a little bit longer, but you go from, you know, Orange Piccolo, who's a locking, pretty scary boss into a 3 million super boss. So it's, it's, it's a very challenging fight. We can float Topo off right here, even if we'll, we'll hit this, sure. Uh, even if, um, Gohan wants to challenge us and Super Topo, Topo without his intro on slot three, uh, Topo will live. This Gohan doesn't really hit that hard. Uh, remember that this Gohan does stun, though, so Rose is not going to be able to attack right here. Uh, in the ninth anniversary meta, boss is being able to stun and seal, uh, is a huge portion of what, you know, bosses are able to do. Now, my number one thing I hate about physical Goku Black the most, without a question, without a doubt, the number one thing, it's not even him being restricted to super bosses, although that does suck, uh, unless we're fighting a Goku family, which I know we are, but again, the orange Piccolo phase did scare me off of, I, I mean, I we probably could have been okay, but it's still like, I don't know, o orange Piccolo is kind of a punishing phase, so I felt like we just do super bosses. If we die, we could maybe switch over to Fusion Zamasu's team, because of kind of the meta showcase fights I do, there's only this one and then the Beast Gohan Supreme Battle Spectacle fight where we'll actually be able to... Let's vote Bully Chan them all. Um, where we'll actually be able to... We'll hit this, sure. Uh, use Rosé off of Super Bosses. Probably not going to get seven orbs right here, but that's okay. Um, I... Bully Chan Lemo, I mean, they are made of paper, right? Like, we have... It, in so far in this super easy a Goku Black World Tour thing we got going on, I I would say most of the deaths have got to be Broly Chan Lemo. I this guy holds up rather well. We've uh, actually only seen Rose die a, a few times. Um, I mean he's not exactly you know. I don't know. I I, I had him compared to Mid Junior earlier. Like think of Mid Junior in 2023. Where, you know, with a good turn, his he could raw defense just be able to survive anything. Now, Rose does have damage reduction. I mean, his first turn he's guarding, but after that he does have damage reduction. But, you know, it's kind of a similar concept where, you know, he gives you five or six supers in a turn, some shit like that, with 50 attacks. And it's like, yeah, he, he's going to be pretty tanky, even with just raw defense. Uh, in his domain, he does, of course, just have raw defense. I don't know. I, I do wish that they... Like, I see what they went for, like, the domain. He's capable of doing so much damage, and then he's supporting as well. But, I mean, there's two things he has in base that he doesn't have in his domain that are annoying. And it's the Key Blast Nullification, which I've gotten so much value out of that Key Blast Nullification from Goku Black, man. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's like, especially with the Kid Buu red zone fight existing, I, Kid Buu's Key Blast Super is a huge annoyance to me in that, that fight. All right, looks like Broly is going to eradicate Gohan here for us. Uh, Rose and Broly took care of Gohan. Okay, so we're going to be going into the Power Awakening Piccolo phase. Uh, Power Awakening Piccolo is very weak for kind of like how deep in the fight it becomes. He's he's a joke. This Piccolo coming up right here. Yeah, this guy is not. Uh, like, like it, if they wanted to make this fight tougher, this guy could have gotten, you know, at least 500k extra damage. All right, so let's keep this in mind that Golden Frieza here, this is his first turn. Bro, we got to get Goku Black hits. The, the, the number one thing I hate about Goku Black so much is that, dude, he's a character that has to get hits, and he needs it bad, dude. And it, it's like he looks so good once he's fully built up, but I, you know, this is a character that basically can't go in slot one. And, like, I feel like I would hear smartasses who go, well, he's not very hard to use. You just don't run him a saw wood. <laughs> and it's like, oh, my God, dude, I didn't think of that. Uh, yeah, except for the fact that we kind of want to get him built up. Uh, you know, I don't 
Orange Piccolo can be really tough. I, I wanna... I'm... Bro, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm doing it. Three orbs right there. Remember, Golden Frieza doesn't... We don't need to worry about orbs for him on his first turn. All right, Piccolo, please don't punish me, Daddy. Please. Please. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. So now, Goku Black fully built up easily. This is free double digits. Gotta be, right? Piccolo hits very weakly. It's only like... He, he does like 1.1 million or some shit. Or it's, it might even just be a, a million. Goku Black is fully built up. Oh, that's fire. Yes. All right. Sometimes, I mean, you know, you got to take some risks. I, we're using super... Hey, guys. You might not be aware of this. We're using super bosses. <laughs> we're going to have to take some risks. All right? That's how it's going to go. Uh, now, we should keep in mind to be careful about characters we float right about here. Golden Frieza, we should be able to safely float. I guess it's possible we're not able to get three orbs, but, I mean, that would be very unlikely, I would say. Um, you know, so he might show up and saw one. We should be okay. Um, but we want to be careful who we float. Now, as is it when we're using the Super Bosses team, I know we're using double physical Goku Black. Again, I haven't even, like, with this guy not even doing his domain, I would not say I've had, like, terrible issues with him. I, I, I wouldn't. Like, I haven't, like, it's like, oh, my God, no. Like, uh, oh, he's caught again. He's frauded out again. Like, it hasn't really been that bad with, with physical Goku Black, right? Um, but we need to save the domain for Broly. Broly can always kind of, like, take us home once we get to the very end. And this fight will be no exception. All right, we're in business here. Uh, hmm. Uh, maybe we float Broly here? Because when Broly comes back, he'll be ready for his domain. We could leave Topo on rotation or float him. It doesn't matter. The thing is, I'm just not really dying to get Topo on the same rotation as Goku Black in them. But we could. Uh, let's have Broly go first. Uh, Piccolo can double super. But he just hits so weakly that he's not going to be able to punish Topo without his intro. Uh, remember, Topo, even though it's a weakened Topo, I, I still... I would say even I underrated how well he would perform on Super Bosses. It feels to me like Topo is a must-run. Because one thing you don't want to lose track of with Topo, he's a rainbow orb changer in both versions. So, it's like, for Rosé, needs, he needs his rainbow orbs. Physical Goku Black just needs as many orbs as he can get. Broly Chan Lemo, you must sell out completely to get them seven orbs or you lose every time. So, Topo is going to help Orbs be a thing. Damn, Broly, come on. Mm. In this role I've been using him on in Super Bosses, we, we are in dire need of crits for him. Because he mostly... Like, the damage here is mostly coming from Broly. I guess the Rosés, that, you know, depending upon their turns, can look pretty good as well. Uh, one thing I really have been very thankful for is there's been a lot of world tours we've done where the friend unit has just been abysmal. I mean, I think of all the 23rd World Tournament Goku runs last year, the EGL Vegito Blue, and it's just like, bro, like, a bad friend unit, is just it can make things so obnoxious. But, I mean, at least for Rosé, uh, you know, if he's really contributing to the team, it's just like a crit build, which everyone is obsessed with doing. So I'm not really finding difficulty at least in how I perceive this Rosé to be good, I'm not finding difficulty finding good Rosé friends. All the Rosé friends have been linked level 10, right? Like, I could live with, like, a 69% Rosé. That's a that's fine. If as long as his big bad boss is level 10, I'm good. And they all have been, so. Shout out to the friends list for once. All right, I'm glad we got... See? Dude, oh my god, this game. This game, it loves... It, you cannot tell me this game doesn't troll the shit out of you. Because... Had we not risked it last turn, we still would not be able to build this guy completely up without... Well, I mean, we could float him off, I guess, but... All right, we have seven, right? Yeah? Oh, yes. And it's defensive support. Rosé will surely be fine. That's a lot of rainbows right there. Let's hit this. Oh, okay. 
Remember that um, super easy a Goku Black, he's double orb changing. Uh, he creates rainbow orbs because we have full super boss rotations. And then we're fighting a super class enemy, so he creates physical orbs as well. Yeah, okay, so so once physical Goku Black like gets built up, he's very good. Yeah, let's just give him the four rainbows, sure. Let's do that. Um, so now, after this turn, we'll be ready to transform a Broly and ready to transform a Topo. We have both of them ready to go. Now, Orange Piccolo is a punishing super attack boss. Uh, I, I think he does, but here, here's the thing I was going to say. This exact rotation, Rose is like a juggernaut at the end of the turn. Okay, because remember, Rose has 30% damage reduction. Broly Chan Limo Super, you know, a 24 key. Then Rose gets up to 40% damage reduction, you know, potentially plus Rainbow Orb support, plus, you know, if they got Tech or In Orb support, plus Super Easy A Goku Black support, plus six links. And Rose can look really good on this rotation right here. We had him eat, you know, class disadvantage, type disadvantage, SDR trunk super attack. I will say this. The Rose's have definitely felt very good with super easy a Goku Black around. Um, and it's just like, man, like I I am just thinking as long as they don't like dick around with super easy A's. So what I would mean by that is like, all right. So, okay, okay. Here, here's what I would mean by that. So... This guy needs super bosses, right? Like, his, everything about this guy's kid, he's built around super bosses. So, when they would kind of, like, like mess around or bullshit us, would have been if they had done super easy A int blue Vegeta. That would have... Because he does nothing for Rose. Because we're not running the future team. We're running super bosses, right? That... As long as they don't pull shit like that with the super... The super easy A helps so much. Characters. No lock. Wow. Okay. Uh, um, Piccolo has a 50% chance, uh, to lock. Alright, so we got, uh, Father. The Father of Time is here. Okay, so, um, we do have Rosé coming onto rotation. So we shouldn't, we should not have two Rosés. That would be a mistake going into the Beast Gohan phase. So we'll keep Golden Frieza. Yeah, let's hit this. Remember, Golden Frieza needs his three orbs. 24 key, guaranteed additional super. And we should be good, too. That's two. Uh, I think we'll probably kill Piccolo here. If I don't see good crits from Broly, I might consider changing his equips up a little bit to get him some more crits. I I don't know. It, it's, it, it can be situational. It's just with the super bosses build we're running right now, I, like, I would definitely benefit from Broly having more crits for these specific runs, for sure. For sure. There's been many times we've been running Broly throughout the last five months where it's like, oh, a dodge right here from him would be super sick, or hopefully the enemy doesn't super him. Um, but in these specific runs, that's what we need from him. Like, it's really, we do need him and the Rosés to, to hit the damage. I, we, we should be killing Piccolo here. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. My Broly does have uh, mostly crit, by the way. Well, remember, when he transforms, he has... I, I think it's a 52% chance to crit base. I think it's 52%. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that is... Yeah, we. I mean, we did just crit every single attack. Okay. I, I, I think we could leave his build as is. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to crit every attack, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. All right, beast time. Um... All right, so we have God Topo. Bro, I... You guys... I just love Topo, man. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> he's just so... Dude, I like... I'm getting... I'm getting bashful, man. Like, he's just so good. He's so good. Like, please make more characters like Topo, dude. Like, I just... Support Rainbow Orb changing. You transform with him, and the bastard is guarding with 80% damage reduction. I... Please. God... Give us more characters like Topo, dude. Please. <laughs> I just... Uh, Topo is just so good. Um... Huh. So... Man, I... I just... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm just curious. I'm curious. 
Well, ah, maybe I'm not very curious. No, never mind. I'm not curious. I was going to say, let's see how Goku Black does, but uh, I think it's just death. Because it's, I mean, it's, so Beast is doing 3 million, basically. Class disadvantage type disadvantage. We saw Trunks, who does like 1.3 million less or something, like 1.2 million, 1.1 million less, something like that. And Goku Black took like 500k from him. I, I don't off the top of my head remember if that Goku Black was fully built up or not. I think let's just let's just get a, a nice clean W. We've had some really dark runs, man. I wish I wish I could just damn, okay. Yeah, we we've had some really tough runs. So I'm just gonna take this looks like an easy we got our easy dub. I kinda wanna just take our easy win. Let's hit seven right there. It's at 1.23. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm sure. I mean, we definitely could have like a rotation happen where Goku Black could live Beast Gohan Super, but it like the way things were looking, like no, I don't think so. Yeah, so we do that. And I mean, it's like okay, so there's that. So we had a character in slot one with 100% dodge, and then we have a character in slot three who has 80% damage reduction with guard. So. Like, Beast is kind of like, hey, uh, sure we're sorry. Well, actually, never mind. Broly, Chan, and Lemo are going to make Topo have 90% damage reduction with guard, actually. <laughs> if you're curious. Yeah, Topo's pretty freaking good. It's pretty ridiculous. Insane character. Uh, unfortunately, Goku Black member does not buff Topo. It's extreme class. He buffs not super bosses. I mean, I'll take the double digits, honestly, right there. Uh, Goku Black, you know, when we're running him, a lot of times he's going to be a slot 2 and a slot 3 character, right? So, I mean, as long as he can tank, you know, class, this, like, Gohan Super got a damage buff, and then Goku Black is still double dash and tank in the normals, like, I'll take it. Double Super on Topo, even with the full dodge build, W, thank you again. Topo, I don't care, Topo has a correct way to build him, and it's full dodge. Yep, perfect. There we go. Topo would have eaten that for double digits easily, but remember, every time Topo gets hit, he loses damage reduction. So, again, you want to build him smart. Um, <clears throat> hmm. We have full HP. Only 600k. Who is our weak link here? That's low. Yeah. That's no good. Yajirobe is at, what, 19,000? That's that's horrible. Horrible HP for Golden Frieza, man. Horrible. Oh, dude. Take away 3,000 attack from this guy and put it into HP, and he's a way better character. Damn. That's that's too low for my taste for a modern Dokkan Fest exclusive, honestly. 15. Uh, what are you at? 18. Usually ECAs are a bit higher, but this guy's so old. His stats were much lower back then. Topo. I mean, I would even kind of prefer a little bit higher. Broly, of course, is going to have a big number. Eh, not really. Their number is monstrous. HP. Yeah, the entire... Uh, the, the whole team has only kind of like mediocre HP values, and Golden Freezes is bad. So, the thing is... I don't... Golden Frieza, your passive is up. So he won't die. Right? And then there's there's zero chance Goku Black gets hit. Yeah. Uh, I don't... I'm not super sure how Broly would do. I've seen, like, really different results from Broly. Hopefully Golden Frieza dodges the super. We'll see what happens. I mean, I don't, he's not going to take 600k, right? This is not Gogeta Super. Ring. Huh. But, um, I did... <laughs> I did think you'd eat that a little bit better. I'm not super sure how much Broly would have taken. Uh, do Broly probably would have lived that. Oh, damn. I kind of... I think I'm just going to... Uh, the point of the video is super easy at Goku Black. And, I mean, we did see the boy look good. We we saw him 
I mean, he, he was effective in here. Um, gold, I did not expect Golden Freeze to take 900k right there. I think we probably could have ran Broly in slot 1, and I think he probably would have lived. And then the second Broly would have touched Beast, so he would have won. So, regardless, super easy a Goku Black and Super Bosses. Uh, I mean, here is the thing. Super Bosses, right? It's like, you have Broly Chine Limo who Goku Black can kind of supply enough orbs for them to be semi-consistent, I've found, as a slot one character. But then that second slot one, I mean, deep in the fight, you know, God Topo is who we're going to want there. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, there we go.